Hello, YubiTube. This is Mr. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dealer coming to you with another segment on how to be an awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! player. This one is going to be about being a good winner or a good loser. You always got to be a good winner or a good loser, whether you win or lose. If you win with, like, somebody have, like, down on the field, they probably did a good job, or they probably cheated. So, like, they have Red Eyes V-Dragon, they have Elemental Hero, could uh, Gaia, Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, Red, but Red Eyes V-Dragon, I'm not sure if I said that. Red No Dragon, Red Dragon Archfiend. Well, I have two Red Dragon Archfiends, so, same. I have to. He'd probably be in the graveyard right now, because I got Red No Dragon out. Um, if this ever happens to you, don't let it bring you down, and be a good loser, if that happens. Like, say I just defeated you for your deck, and I just won your deck. Maybe it was, like, your least power. Maybe it was, like, your most powerful deck. Okay, yeah, shake the guy's hand, man. If you feel bad, just, I don't know, go home and punch Poe. <laughs> Nobody really does that, and please don't do that. That would be really weird. Um, so, if you get that mad, just go see a psychiatrist or something. Um, or whatever. Um, let's just say this happens. It'd really be suckish. Like, they have a couple more, like, they have swords of revealing light on you. They just keep on attacking you. Now you're down to 500 life points. You gotta be a good loser. Or you gotta pull out the... Or you gotta pull out the... <sighs> I forgot what card is the most powerful. Um... Well, to beat blue... I think to beat Red Eyes V Dragon, you have to use Blue Eyes White Dragon. He has enough attack, I think. Or... I'm not really sure what else. So, YouTube. Um... Number 10. Uh... This would really suck. I had, like, five guys at this tournament. You Swords of Revealing Light on me. I hate it, because nobody, nobody likes Swords of Revealing Light besides the person who's using it. Whatever happens to you, you hate it, man. I'm not saying it's a bad card. I'm saying it's, like, one of the best cards. Because if your opponent's, like, trying to kill you with an Exodia deck or something, even though Exodia sucks, I'm just giving a, like, a quick example. Um, uh, like... Don't be mad. Like maybe he has like that many cards in his graveyard because he has a what do you call it? A Tribunity deck and that is mainly based on tributing and uh equipping. So maybe he has like I don't know. Like some card equipped with Red SBI Dragon. He has like double attack. That'd be pretty cool, but I don't really think this type of thing would happen. Cause I don't know any person has two polarizations in their deck, first of all. Um I'm not sure if you if you can summon twice. Can you put them on the I don't think so. Um, so, remember, if anybody needs any trades, I posted this on my first, on my video I did before this, or if I didn't, um, this, you know, good drill. If anybody wants a rare Red Dragon Archfiend or a hollow Red Dragon Archfiend, call me. He's a really good card. I mean, what do you call it? I might be up for trade. Um, what else? What else? I'm pretty much looking for a blue eyes white dragon, maybe. I uh, it would go really along with my type of mat. Kind of like him. He's not really that good, but still. Or if you have any secret rare card, I'll maybe I'll probably trade you like both of these for a secret rare card. Maybe I'm not sure. Probably be worth it. Um. And remember, nobody likes sore losers. Just don't do it, man. And if you're at your local tournament shop and there's this judge, they know everything, man. Like, this one per judge I saw, they had 35 decks. 35. And you're gonna need that many decks, because whenever you get really good, because people are gonna remember your decks, they're, they're just gonna, maybe like, if you have dragon deck, they're gonna make an anti-dragon deck. Or they're gonna make, they're gonna make a better dragon deck than you. So, uh, that's my mom's sneezing. <laughs> Um, buy. I like Duelist. If you're gonna make a Fiend deck with a bunch of tuners, get the Duelist pack collection. The Yusei. Yeah, it comes with Yusei. Yusei or Yusei, I'm not sure. Um, and it comes with a. One Duelist Revolution, one Secret Rare Frozen Fish Gerald card, and three Super Rare variant cards used by the Dark Signers, Underground Archfiend. Zeman the Ape King. I don't know if like like Zeman. I don't I really can't summon him. Hundred Eyes Dragon. That goes along I think pretty good with the dra dark dragon deck. But I think I have like a light one or fire. Yeah. I think I have a fire. Um plus the five D's beginner guy and I don't really care about those. Um, um I 
think that's it. Yugi Doob. Um, this is Mr. Yugi Doobish signing off. And I think we are done. So, one last thing. Do not be a sore loser. Nobody likes them. And goodbye, Yugi Doob. Oh, Inch95 and your Yu Yu channel. Watch them, man.